Nasio America recently traveled to New Tech High in Capel, Texas, Clemson University in South Carolina, Wooddale High School in Memphis, Tennessee, and to the Peoria Unified School District, interviewing groups of students, teachers, and administrators. Here are their thoughts, their truths, and their emotions as we present The Prism Experience. My first impression, impressions of PRISM and the thing that stood out to me most was the fact that it had a color screen. And not that that seems like a lot, but with the technology today and what the kids are used to, almost all the students have phones that have color backgrounds and they have applications set up where they can kind of scroll through and choose things. I think it's just something that really relates to them. Prior to using the Casio calculator, I was using the TI-83 and 84 with my classes. And our district um, sort of advanced in into incorporating the Casio into the whole district curriculum. So I'm using it with the freshman students. And I find that several of my college algebra students are um, using the Casio calculator now too, because when I put the lessons up on the board, it's amazing how they see how much easier the Casio is. I love working with the Casio people. I think the product is great. There are a couple things in the new calculator that thrilled me because I had been arguing, I think you need to see this in your calculator, and I think your calculator needs to do this, and Casio listens. And there's some changes that have been made in the calculator that are gonna make a difference for how teachers use it. One thing that's very important with um, math and education in general is that you follow the standards that are set forth by your state. Um, I know that now there's going to be a push to Common Core where our state's part of a 26 state consortium and um, we're all essentially going to be teaching the same things. But for now, and before this, Casio actually has gone through all of the state standards, um, has, has looked at ways that they can incorporate technology into those state standards and has made it very easy for teachers to be able to use technology with specific standards. Um, the way they did this is if you go to CasioEducation.com, you can go to the place for educators and right there is a search option and you can search for your state. So for Arizona, we have the Ames test, which is the Arizona instrument to measure standards. And we can go through and find a correlation for any particular standard that we're looking for. And it'll have a project or an activity that you can use the Casio with to help reinforce that education. In the Casio calculator, I can easily memorize different um, things that I'm going to do, like going to the graph and putting in functions and things like that. It just makes it so much easier because I don't have to press so many buttons. Um, it's just one button away and then I'm there, and so I don't have to constantly ask my teacher, how do I do this, how do I do that? Um, so basically, I'm super self-efficient. We've got to excite kids about mathematics. In our society, it's really a shame that people don't value mathematics, that people seem to be proud of disliking mathematics. One of the things I do with my students at the first day is tell them, all of your friends think you're crazy for liking mathematics, don't they? They think you're crazy for wanting to teach mathematics. And most of your friends are very, very bright people. And I try to convince them that's an indictment of our profession. We've got to make mathematics interesting. We've got to make it valuable for students. We've got to get them to see why it's so important for them to learn. 